In GradeLink, report card production is simplified for teachers. I'm here in a teacher account to show you what happens on their side. At the end of a term, teachers need to perform a step called concluding in order for their grades to show on the report card. It's pretty easy, so I've got the reading first grade class selected up here. And I'm going to click the Conclude tab. Here, I'll click the Conclude button, and that will finalize this class. Once the teacher does this for all of their classes, they will be finished for the quarter. Back on the administration side, let's take a look at my classes page. You'll see that the Reading 1 class is now purple, indicating that it has been concluded. So you'll be able to tell right away which teachers have finished. Once your teachers have concluded all their classes, you can then print report cards. To do so, let's click the Admin Reports tab. Here, we'll click on Report Card. If you have more than one format, you may have more than one button, such as Upper Grade Report Card and Elementary Report Card. Over on the right, I'll select my terms to include on the report card. If you are running, for instance, an elementary school report card and don't want to show semester averages or exam term grades that the high school uses, select just the quarters. To be selective in your term choices, hold down the Control key in Windows or the Command key in Mac OS while you click the terms. In this case, I want to show the semester averages and exam grades on the report card, so I'll include those additional terms. You can run report cards for a whole grade level of students or a whole class of students at once. For now, I'm just going to run an individual report. For this student, you may have a number of report profiles to choose from. These profiles control minor variations in font size, grade scales, graphic arrangements, and other settings best suited to the grade level you're running report cards for. Choose the appropriate profile. As we've mentioned, classes must be concluded in order to print final grades on the report card. However, if you wish to see a preview of the report card before classes have been concluded, check the Preview Mode checkbox. You can then see a preview sample report card with non-final grades displayed. For now, let's click Submit. GradeLink will display the report card right in the browser. If everything looks OK, you can click the PDF icon to download a PDF file of the report card. This may take a minute or so for an entire grade level. Then simply print the PDF file. If your report card is a two-sided style, you will want to enable two-sided printing if your printer has this feature. This can also be called double-sided or duplex, depending on your printer manufacturer. Look for this setting in your Print Dialogs Preferences area. If you're coming to the end of one quarter or trimester and are ready to start the next, it's easy. We're on the Classes page right now. And as you'll see, I have a full set of classes we created for Quarter 1. If I select Quarter 2 from this menu, however, you'll see it's empty. However, you don't need to recreate your class lists. Instead, let's go to the Terms page. Here, I'll click on my current quarter, which is about to end. Next, I'll click Copy Term Classes. Below, I'll choose the next consecutive quarter to copy classes into. This checkbox, Keep Students in Same Classes, that's on by default, and that's how I want it unless we are starting a new school year, in which case I would uncheck this box. But we're just going from quarter one to quarter two, and the students will generally be in the same classes. So I'll leave that checked and click Copy Classes. That copied my entire class setup, along with students and a number of settings, into the next quarter. Now all I have to do is click on Quarter 2 and make it active and Submit Changes. And that's now available to teachers to start entering grades. If we're done with Quarter 1, we should make this inactive 
and submit changes. That will keep the teacher's class lists from getting too long and hard to manage. Keep in mind that this copy classes process should only be performed between consecutive terms. In other words, don't copy from quarter one directly to quarters three or four. This copy process moves a number of settings forward, which can change over time. So in order to have the most current settings possible, just copy between terms, ideally the day before the next term starts. At the end of the year, the final step is to promote students. Before performing this routine, please be sure classes have been concluded and final report cards have been printed for the year. From the Students tab, let's click the Admin sub-tab over to the right. Then, we'll click the Promote Students button. Down below, click the second Promote Students button. This will raise all students up by one grade level. Next, if any students are being retained or held back, return to the Demographics area, select the student, and manually change their grade level back. Be sure to save changes. Finally, return to the Promote Students area and click Inactivate Graduated Students. Then choose the grade level of those students which recently graduated. So if my school goes up to 8th grade, then I would choose 9th grade and click Inactivate. And this will take all of those students off of my active list all at once. If you need to make any changes to classes, such as grade scale adjustments, report title changes, or rearranging classes, the start of the school year is the best time to make these changes. So, you'll run the copy term classes procedure as described earlier, moving from quarter four to quarter one of the new year, but be sure to uncheck that box, keep students in same classes. Make any necessary changes to classes in this first term. Then return to the Populate page to start placing students in their fall classes. And you're off and running. This concludes the introductory administration training video. For help with features like adjusting grade scales, configuring subgrades, or changing attendance settings, see the Help section or ask your friendly GradeLink rep. We also recommend viewing our popular teacher training video. This 52-minute blockbuster covers topics specific to teachers, but is also good information for administrators to be aware of.